Good afternoon, everybody. Well, it's a Saturday afternoon. I've been out doing a few quotes this morning. Um, and sort of a couple of rewires I've quoted up. Uh, we're looking at the Quinetic stuff. So I thought I'd put this quick video together, which shows um, a setup here that I've got in my house. Uh, with the Quinetic systems, I have the uh, Wi Fi controlled dimming units which is all connected to my Alexa system. So I thought I'd just run you through it and sort of give you a good idea of sort of what the Quinetic stuff is capable of doing. So, um, okay, so at the, actually, I'll flip the camera around and we'll have a look at something better. Okay, so to begin with, this this is our entrance. This is where we come in to our house. So we have this nice large area here. Okay, so what I did here, um, we're going to be revamping this kitchen um, some point soon. So the idea is we're going to pull all this out. We're going to knock these chimneys out and have a nice little island unit in the middle. So don't worry about the uh, it might look a bit odd the, the wiring and the lighting at the moment but it's designed ready for a new kitchen layout so um what i did was up here we had before just a central light in the middle of the room so i decided to fit uh six down lights so i put four here in the hall in the kitchen area and then across to the dining bit we have another two lights here so I've left one centre light, which will be over the table. Uh, this is just on a dimmer. Then I fitted these two disc lights on here. So these two disc lights work on a PIR. So obviously when we come, come down in the night time or morning or anything like that, we've got some lights that just turn on automatically with the PIR. Uh, again, they're on a dimmer, so they're dimmable. Um, so they work automatically. So luckily, because we got these nice big holes, so all the wiring I did for all the downlights and everything, I brought back to one place. So we've got a nice little junction box here, and then we've got our Quinetic um, receiver. So um, basically with these Wi-Fi ones, pretty much the same as, as what you got with the, the, the normal basic ones. You press a switch, you can, switch them on and off from here as you see again if you want to program it you press and hold hold the button until the that light, red light starts flashing and then you program your switches in so at the moment i've got these here so i've got um the switch so i've got a dimmer for my disc lights um this one does a, a light out the back and then i've installed the kinetic ones above that is literally just on the sticky pad stuck to the wall. Actually, that ain't going nowhere and it works perfectly. So, so basically what we do is this, again, this is the mo the new modern ones. These are the rocker type. So again, all you do, click it off, click it on, lights come on and off. When you want to dim something, literally all you do is just press and hold. And as you'll see, the lights will then they'll go through a cycle. So they'll dim right the way down. They'll go off and then keep hold of it. And then they'll start to come up again and they'll go to their full brightness and then they'll start dimming down again. They'll just work their way through for a cycle. Okay. They're staying up at full brightness. If I click that again, now they should start dimming down again. Typical. Now they're going to start playing up on me. <laughs> Just to be annoying, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. So sometimes you've got to do it a couple of times. Sometimes, like any of this modern technology, sometimes it can have a little bug in it. That's why, flick it off, flick it on again, and it will start working. There you go, see now it's working again. 
Unfortunately, that's just modern technology stuff. All these, all these things are not 100% perfect, no matter what smart lighting system you go for. I found lots of little bugs in different bits and pieces. But we want these luxuries and this modern stuff, so <laughs> that's a go. Right, so we'll going through into our lounge area, I've done um, a nice little mood lighting. So what I've basically done is put four down lights here in the corners. Which is nice. So when so when we're all sat down watching the TV at night, we just dim the full lights down rather than having a great big bright light in the middle of the room in our faces. We can just have these four lights, which again they sit over the settees and they give us a little bit of light if we're playing around on our phones and or reading or whatever else you want to be doing. Um, so it gives it a nice little effect. Again, so here I've put a two gang switch. So I've got the. One for the down lights, and then I've got a second one, which again does the center light. So again, if I press and hold that, you'll see that will go through the brightness and dim down again. Same thing with the down lights, if I press and hold, Again, there you go. So it'll go to full brightness and then it'll dim down again. So there we are. So that gives us our different le light levels. Right, so then all these, again, with the down lights, as I've got down lights here, I've just put um, nice shallow little junction boxes up above and the modules are just all, all behind one of these down lights so that everything is easy to get to. So that's fine. Right, so the way this works with the uh, Alexa, I ignore the sweets, all the kids. So I've got our Alexa hidden here. So all we go, Alexa, turn off kitchen down lights. And there you go. Alexa, turn on kitchen down lights. Simple as that. And then we go again into the lounge. So we've got our another little pod over here. So we can do the same in this room. So we go, Alexa, turn off down lights. All set. Alexa. Turn on down lights to 100%. A couple things share that name. Lounge down lights and kitchen down lights. Which La one did you want? Lounge down lights. There we go. So then we go, and, and the same, same thing again, you can put, um, so you go Alexa, Turn lounge down lights to 30%. See, and then basically it dims down. Alexa, turn off lounge center light. There you go, and then that reduces down our light level. So if you want it in more. Alexa, turn lounge down lights to 10%. And as you see, so it gives us a nice little mood lighting at night time. And, and that's fine. So that's pretty much how it works. Okay, so I think I've covered most, most of this. So we've gone through the switches, we've gone through how the Alexa works. Um, showing, showing you the bits and pieces. The um, one thing I will say, let's go back with the Queen A, okay, pendants. These can be a little bit difficult sometimes trying to hide the modules. Um, Queen A are bringing out lots of um, new new products and stuff like that, which which is great. They brought out some of these little mini modules now, 
um, but it's still a little bit chunky for hiding away in the back of a pendant. Um, some of the ceiling lights, the pendant bases are a lot bigger, so you've got some space to actually hide things away. The other way is when I'm doing a lot of the rewires and things like that I'm doing at the moment, um, we're basically putting a box unit somewhere in a cupboard or some like if it's upstairs, it goes in the loft. Um, some somewhere you can hide it away. The um, you just run one cable to each set of lights. So you put your main feed into a box with all the modules in one box. Um, and then if you've got pendants and things like that, you have one wire from each pendant back to that box and then controlled by the modules there. So that's it's, it all depends on the layout of the house and the setup and how you're doing it basically. So we'll go from that. Okay. Okay, so one last thing to go through um, is obviously the setup of how this would look if you're using Alexa on your phone, control it by your phone or your um, iPad, tablet, however you want to do it. So obviously this, this I've got set up on my iPad at the moment. So when you've got your, your Alexa screen comes up, you've got all your bits and pieces on here. That's fine. So if you go down to the bottom, go to Devices. It will come up with all your things. We go on here and go to lights. It will then list where all your lights are um, and how you want it. So I've got living room, I've got kitchen down lights. You've got lots of uh, routines. There's lots of setups that you, you can do with this. Um, I quite often do, do routine setups and things like if we're going away for a weekend or going away on holiday, you can get this to be switching different lights on and off at different times and it makes it look like there's somebody in the house. So it's great for, for that sort of thing, for the security. So basically we've got, so we've got the lounge, lounge centre light, lounge down lights. So again, if we were to do this, we've got the lounge down lights. Um, tells you when it's on, tells you when it's off and brightness. All you've got to do, if you touch the drag it across then the lights will go up actually it's better let me show you let me go back to the kitchen ones because i'm here in the kitchen and then you'll be able to actually see them doing what they're supposed to be doing so okay so at the moment we've got it at 80 percent so if we wanted to put these up to 100 percent things like that so now i'll drag it back across the screen and go down to like 20%. And they're not responding. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Annoying things. The lounge is responding greatly, but these, these ones are playing up for some reason. Okay. Right, let's say, unfortunately, sometimes it does this, other times, 80% of the times it runs, well, 90% 90, 90 of the times it runs absolutely perfect, and you get this old 10% and it just plays up. Right, again, let's drag that across, we'll bring that up to 100%, and there you go. Now you see it's working. Take it back down, we'll take that down to 10%. Uh, this time it's working absolutely fine. There you go, and it dims it right down to where you want it. Okay, so that gives you gives you an idea. So you've got all the bits and pieces on here. Um, same sort of screen really on your phone. So you've got control. You've got control on the iPad, control on the iPhone, or smartphone. Um, you've got the Alexa devices controlling it and you've got like just a normal switch system as well that can control it so as you can see it's very versatile you've got all sorts of things you can do with it okay back to me again <laughs> so, right um that, that's that's it for now so i think i've run through pretty much everything we've given you all the controls now let's make, make your choice which modules you want to go for. <laughs> okay, right, that's, that's for me for today. Enjoy yourselves, look, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.